Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload image from Flutter web app to your server. Now this image uploading technique I have used for several of my projects and it's always the same code and it always works. So here is the code that you should be using. But before that actually, let me show you that actually it works, okay? So here I can upload a, a dummy image. So I'm gonna pick a color say this color and then I'm going to pick an image so one of the images that I'm going to pick from here okay so now as, as you see that the image has been picked okay and it also has been shown and then not only that I can save okay now if I save and after that over here as you will see that so it shows up, appears in my category, summer boots. This one, this is the one that I have uploaded. Of course, I can go ahead and uh, replace or edit, but you get the idea, okay? So this is something that I'm going to share with you. Of course, I'm not going to explain too much of the code, but I'm going to tell you the whole process. Code itself is very simple, but a lot of beginners just struggle the process anyway so one of the first thing that if you want to upload image from flutter web app you have to go ahead and install one of the plugins so here is this plugin this is called file picker remember this is not image picker because on flutter web app images are uploaded as files so this is the file or image or this is the plugin that actually we are going to use so that's the first thing and after that you have to have a button of course you know because you're gonna click on something and that something is a button so this is a button over here so the first thing we have to do once you click on a button like this in my case this is elevated button you have to pick the image from your computer or from your device so here I do have a function which is called pick image now I'm going to walk you through what does it do and why it's very different than image picker so pick image eventually as you see that it has this file picker object and it has also this platform object and then there is a function or method called pick files and then eventually it returns thing as a file but the file format is platform file which is very different because if you are going to pick an image on your mobile device that's just a file object but in our case this is a platform file okay so once you call this method it just picks an image and then of course the picked object is not null then we can just simply go ahead and return it okay so this is a very small simple method over here okay all well, it does it picks a file from your local device in our case it's our computer because we are using web app and then it's going to return the object itself which is in platform file so that's the first thing so when it is done it will return the file platform file and we save it over here the next thing we have to do is actually uploading to our server so over here in this case we have another method which is called upload image to local server or it could be any server it doesn't really matter I'm gonna expand the windows so that you understand okay all right so here we go so now this is our method which is called upload image to local server so first we get this file object which is a platform file remember one thing it's not file it's a platform file and we check whether it is null or not and then we also define the URI in our case that's the endpoint and then we also tell the image how or the file how it should be uploaded in which format in general if you're gonna upload image to web app you may use multi-part okay so this is the basic format every time you upload an image this is the format that you should follow and then you just send the request in general the request should be succeeded or successful and then you do a bunch of other cleaning stuff over here okay now of course over here there's another part that we should take a look so it uploads the image to the back end so we should now go ahead and check the back end but even before that remember once this method upload image to local server has been called 
you're gonna return an image URL. So as you will see over here, so if we get 200 from the server, eventually we return a string, a URL, because you want to show the uploaded image as, because you want to show the uploaded image and the image that's been uploaded, that should be a URL, right? Because if we have URL, then we can show it as a network image. So that's the idea, okay? So that's why from here, we return a URL because if we have the URL, we can return, we can show it as a network image. We, we all know that, that's the basics, right? Okay, so once this is done over here, here we are, okay, so ignore this problem. So we grab this URL, okay, and we just notify our image notifier. Now this part depends on your state management. You may use block, riverport, or getx. It doesn't matter whichever you use. So all it does, it takes it and update the UI, okay? But now there is another part that you may want to take a look because the image is being uploaded to the server now in the back end i'm using node.js and i have defined a route over here the endpoint is upload that is same as the one that endpoint i have over here you have to make sure that one and then i have this method which is called upload file now this is the method and this method actually depends on a node.js package the package name is called multer Okay, so you have to go ahead and install this multer package because it will help you to define uh, storage in the desk because you have to save the image somewhere in your server in the hard disk. So it's gonna do all these things. Now it may look a little bit complicated, but I'm giving all this code in the description so you can go ahead and find, no problem. And then as usual, it continues and eventually after saving the image, it actually returns us, right? Returns the URL. Actually, this URL is the URL that actually we are going to return from here. Now, of course, before we return, we do some process over here. Anyway, so if you like, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.